Hello and welcome to my video. Firstly, I would like to apologize for the long time that has taken between the first video and this video, but I'll promise you the next video will come sooner. Also, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. In this video and the next videos, I will show you my chassis, how badly it's rusted, what needs to be repaired, and what upgrades I'll make. What you can see here is the backbone of the lowest chassis. The tops are okay, the sides are pretty okay. The bottom half is heavily rusted and needs to be replaced, but I'll show you this in a minute. What you can't see is this. This is the front D section. This holds the front suspension mounts. And this part is heavily rusted and needs to be repaired. This is the front T section. It looks pretty okay, but there are some holes on the top and the metal is fairly thin here. But the worst part is here on the bottom. This is completely gone and needs to be replaced. So I've turned the chassis upside down so you can take a look at the bottom. There's heavy corrosion on the bottom. There are some fairly big holes in here and this metal has gotten very thin. I've already measured it and cut pieces of sheet metal to repair this, but there are a friend's house who has a sheet metal break to make these bands in them so I can repla replace the part from here to here. This is the rear Y section of the chassis. The engine would have been here. There's some uh, small repairs to be done, some reinforcements to be made. There's a little surface rust, but all in all, the rear Y section is pretty good. If any of you are wondering what type of welder I'm using to do all the chassis repairs, it's a Stahlwerk ACDC 200 amp TIG welder. I bought it from a company in Germany who has it made in China, and they provide a 5 year warranty with their own repair service. That's the only reason I went with a Chinese welder because of the 5 year warranty and they're fairly cheap. This one has a pulse fun function and a foot pedal. I also use a number 7 gas lens and pure argon gas. It works quite okay, I'm just a hobbyist so for my use it's a, it's a good welder. This is one of the small repairs I had to do on the rear Y section. This is the rear radius arm mount. There's a bush in the middle that's secured by these two bolts. Around this bolt hole there were a lot of cracks. So I've welded up the cracks and ground the welds flat in the front and the back. And to be sure I will be reinforcing this with a thicker plate on the rear so it isn't prone to crack again. I already showed you that I need to weld up the cracks on the, the radius arm mount on the other side of the chassis. The radius arm mount on this side of the chassis needs more repair. As you can see, there's a big hole in the middle where there should be, should be two small bolt holes. This is a standard radius arm mount bush that should sit right here. That should be secured by two bolts. On the other side there were a lot of cracks, now there are cracks and a part of the chassis has been missing. So um, I'll be welding in a new plate here and weld up the cracks that go further. I'll show you how I do this in this video. I'm not sure if you can see this on this video, but uh, because this side has gone in, this side had to come up, so um, the sheet metal on this side is bulging out. I'm going to make this flat again. I already made a plate approximately the size of the defect. I'll make sure the plate runs beyond the cutout of the circle. I'll be able to recut the circle when this is welded in. But first, um, I already drew out what part needs to be removed, so now I'll take my Dremel 
and remove this part. What I'll do now is I'll clean up the edges, both the parts, top and bottom, um, to do some welding. So I already decked this up, but while I was doing it, the battery of my camera went dead, so I didn't have the opportunity to uh, film this. Next, I'll show you how I weld everything. Okay, now I've welded up all the cracks and the plates in place. Now I'll have to make a template of this hole so I can cut it along the same lines. I'll be doing this by taking a template from this side of the circle and then using it on this side to mark the hole. Just have a white sheet of paper, just taking some dirt on my hand. Rub around the edge. So now, as you can see, I have a small template. Now I'll cut it out and use it on the other side. I think this should line up. I can check it by using my dirty finger to try to match the circle on the other side. As you can see, it's a nice circle. Now I'll hold this down and I'll mark it. I've double checked the hole with uh, one of the radius arm mounts and it fits so uh, now I'll cut it and then afterwards I can uh, remove some more material if needed. There, now fitment's pretty much perfect, slides in with very little trouble. Next step, I'll be grinding down these wells so uh, the mount sits flush, then I'll put a bolt in it and drill the other hole. I already measured this hole, it's a 5 16th hole. 
Now we'll place in the mount. Use one of the original nuts and bolts. Now this mount is pretty secure. Uh, now we can mark where the other hole needs to be. First, I'm going to use a sander punch to make the drilling a lot easier. And I'm going to estimate what the center of the hole is. First, I'm going to drill a pilot hole. Now, instead of getting a box of imperial sized drills, uh, I got this. It's a pack, and there are three imperial sized step drills. Um, it costs around 10 euros, so it's very cheap, and I still have all the imperial sized drills. So as you can see everything fits, but I will not be using this style of radius arm mount. I will be fabricating my own competition style radius arm mount with a spherical bearing, but I will be using the original mounting holes, so if I would like it, I could reverse to this type of radius arm mount in the future. Obviously. I also have to grind off all the excess weld on the other side of this plate. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you like. You can visit my blog or you can contact me uh, through my website. If there are any things you would like me to cover uh, on this channel, please let me know. In the next videos we'll continue working on the chassis and maybe I'll show you some of the special things about the rear suspension like the competition uh, radius arm mounts or the adjustable lower links. I know that some of you are working on making your own adjustable lower links so I'll show you how I make mine step by step and I'll show you what you all need. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please share it with all your friends. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,